<laughs> According to the World Health Organization data, air pollution causes 6.7 million premature deaths annually. Air pollution is mainly caused by burning of false fuels, industrial emission, indoor air pollution, wildfire, transportation, and open burning of garbage waste. With the increasing cases resulting from air pollution, where Uganda registers 31,600 people with related diseases annually, this prompted National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, to come out on addressing the prolonged challenge of air pollution. Although the effects of air pollution are visible, the public has not desisted from actions that cause air pollution, which acts carry penalties. So if you're caught uh, burning uh, the wastes, you're going to face imprisonment uh, for four years. A penalty for um, the companies, it is a fine not exceeding 50,000 currency points. Now NEMA together with other partners for the whole week, embarked on engaging different stakeholders in planting trees and sensitizing the public on how to conserve the environment, the move aimed at observing air quality. As NEMA aims at advocating for air quality, they have launched the National Environment Air Quality Standards Regulations. The regulations were launched by the State Minister for Environment, Beatrice Atim Anua, who highlighted the government's move to address air pollution. We are really doing a lot with conservation, planting of trees, and we are partnering with various partners. And the beauty of it is that there is a huge political goodwill. His Excellency the President is spearheading this. And he's one of the ambassadors of conservation of this environment. So it's high time we take the right choice. Prevent or treat and lead to death. By Lega Kankwasa, the executive director NEMA revealed their move to regulate the use and importation of poor engine vehicles in the country to address the challenge of air pollution. The law and standards should be just a beginning point to guide our actions. So it is the actions that will make a difference, not the standard and the regulation. It is our actions. And we don't want to come and police you. That one doesn't work. We want you to see the problem and take deliberate measures to address the problem. Leos Gilasa. The American embassy representative asked the government to put necessary measures to address air pollution in the country. It is, and it's not only prudent that as the government of Uganda undertakes the necessary steps to enforce these regulations, that you and I, we, each make our own contribution uh, by limiting activities that might pollute the air. Deborah Namamonde, UBC News.